Hello, spooksters. Welcome to Spooky Sips, a show where I try coffee from spooky people for spooky people. I'm Deandra Laser, your host and spooky coffee fiend. Today, we're reviewing Lisa Wilcox's Welcome to Wonderland blend by Dead Sled Coffee with Lisa Wilcox. Oh, hey, Lisa. Welcome to Wonderland, or well, very least my studio. <laughs> well, hello there. It's so <laughs> wonderful to have you here. Look upon my treasures. <laughs> it's fantastic. Oh. I love it. I turned my powder room into this. <laughs> I bet it looks wonderful. And it's so full, I've started using the ceiling. Looks like you might have to start using your ceiling, too. That's smart. We didn't actually think about that. Oh, yeah. I have wondered, because I'm sure fans give you guys stuff yes. so often. Yes, yes. Where so it goes. So much cool stuff, yes. Uh, so do you like my outfit? It looks kind of familiar. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic! Yeah, thank you! We tried really hard. Amazon Whoa. was our friend. <laughs> <laughs> it looks very good on you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was so nervous. So, a Dead Sled, who, like I said, put together this coffee, has a few nightmare coffees. They did a collaboration with Robert Englund on his Stay Awake blend and the Never Sleep Again blend for A Nightmare on Elm Street. Now, as far as I can tell, this is the first time they've chosen a horror heroine. So, how did this collaboration with Dead Sled start? They just, they reached out to me. I was familiar with them because I knew Robert had done a blend. I think King Hodder, mm -hmm. Elvira, yeah. you know, and I went on their website too and, and they, they just reached out to me, but I was so excited. There aren't that many women. Yeah, no, they don't have, uh, they don't have many. Blends, no. you know? And we drink coffee too, damn it. Yes, we do, we love it. <laughs> That's all TikTok is, it's just women and coffee. <laughs> <laughs> This flavor is a vanilla fudge. We haven't tried it yet. That's what this is all about. It's a bold flavor, so why did you pick it? Um, well, the vanilla fudge, I love ice cream sundaes. Vanilla ice cream with hot fudge, whipped cream, right? Ooh, whipped so cream. that's where I was at, and I like cream in my coffee. Um, so this is this kind of how it evolved, and I like a stronger, mm. stronger, nice little punch, punch you mm -hmm. know, in there. Did you have samples of this, or how did you... Like try like there were sample there were samples and there you know coffee comes from many places in the world so Death Sled is like it's it's global mm -hmm. you know and so it's hard to choose because <laughs> there's a lot of good stuff out there. But since you haven't had a chance to sample the final product, I assume you've been waiting for me. I'm just kidding. Ah, <laughs> I can't wait. I guess she's got her Crave In <laughs> Diner. I've got my Never Sleep Again. I guess the best thing to do is try it. Three, okay. two, one. Uh. Oh, that's smooth. It's really smooth. Ooh, it's really smooth. It's, it's definitely got that strength to it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm. Oh yeah, I bet that'd be really so. Like, like now it's fall. Mm. I like to put little pumps of like mm. pumpkin flavoring in my mm -hmm. coffee. I bet that'd be good with pumpkin mm. flavoring. Plus, mm -hmm. I like to put whipped cream on top. Yes, yes. whipped cream. Yes. Thank you. You're my girl. It. She's my girl. Oh, I love whipped cream. Mm -hmm. I love whipped cream. Do we have a bottle? I just go like this. <laughs> <laughs> have a couple of questions and yes. then we're gonna play a game. Not jigsaw style though. <laughs> so some of your Elm Street fellow stars have said that they'd like to retire doing certain kinds of movies, like a Hallmark movie. What kind of movies would you like to do in the future that you haven't done yet? Um, well, I have yet to play a vampire. Oh, <gasps> but that's kind of how you got into spooky things in the very beginning. Yes, it is. Rumor has it you're, you love Dracula. I love Dracula. <laughs> it was the first novel I ever read, fourth grade. It was not on the reading fourth list. Fourth grade? Fourth grade, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I don't recall how I got this book. My mother would take us to the library a lot. But I know it was winter because I read it hiding under the covers with my electric blanket light was my flashlight mm -hmm. under the covers. In the old days, cartoons used to happen on Saturday mornings. Mm -hmm. Then there would be the monkey show at noon. Oh, and then all monkey. afternoon would be, would be um, black and white horror stuff. You know, oh. Frankenstein and Dracula and Twilight Zone and all that kind right of thing. Right after the cartoons? Uh, right after the cartoons. Isn't hey. that interesting? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but I loved them. I, and that's when I became, very young age, loved horror. Really? Loved horror. Was yes. it, did it scare you at first? Or were you just like, oh, I'm scared, but I'm no, fascinated? No, I was never scared. I was fascinated. I was like, oh, that's so cool. He's biting her neck. That's so <laughs> cool. So anyway, so in fact, in college, um, I had to stay, the first, the first year you have to stay in the dorms. Mm. 
So all the gals, they had like Bruce Springsteen posters on their wall and that kind of thing. I had a massive, bigger, huge of Bella Lugosi on my wall. So anyway, I'm sure people were like, this cute little blonde girl, what, why does she have Bella Lugosi on her freaking wall? You know, it would be so unexpected. They walk you in and be like, unexpected. Huh, a surprise. Yes, 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 I yes, love yes. that, though. Mm -hmm. So oh. I've yet to play a vampire. You would be such a good vampire. Like a vampire oh. queen. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> and a western. We love to do it. I've never Ooh. done a western. I would really love to do that. If anybody out there happens to be a director, there you go. Director, <laughs> I'm telling you, because I had wondered when I'd heard that you like Jackie, I was like, I do not think that she's done a, a vampire, but she would be such a good. Well, thank vampire. you. Yeah. I think so too. Darn it. So anyway. Oh my gosh. It's on my my acting bucket list. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I would love, love, love to see that. So speaking of school, yes. you went to UCLA, mm -hmm. and you studied Grotowski. Mm -hmm. What made you gravitate toward him? What about his, his style? Um, now that's such an interesting question, because UCLA was more the method, Meisner, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So I certainly learned that, Stanislavski learned mm -hmm. that. But um, mm -hmm. my boyfriend at the time, actually, Really? This hunky Irish 6'1", beautiful man. Anyway. One major league hunk. Mm, we are talking one major league hunk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we met doing a play, Picnic, actually. He was the lead oh. in Picnic, and I was the female lead. Anyway, we dated for many years. And he was studying this thing called Grotowski. And I'm like, okay. So I went to the class, and I was like, wow, this is fascinating. Grotowski is very physical. For instance, we're walking in a circle, and you have to think of leading with your niece for instance, or leading with your forehead. So it was really interesting for char character development, you know? Yeah. Um, and this other one that I loved was he would say, Mr. Ostatinsky was his name, the teacher, would say, imagine your hair is crying. Isn't that a concept? That is a really trippy <laughs> it's trippy. thing to imagine. It's, it's trippy, but it just kind of twists your brain around just how to think. Approach something different, very different. Very different. Don't feel sad, your hair is crying. Yeah, 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 and it works, man, so. Um, and actually wow. went to Poland for six weeks, and we worked with wow. other Grotowski groups in all around wow. Poland and stuff, so yeah, it was a really cool experience. How do you bring that like physical, like your hair is crying methodology into how you approach different roles now? I kind of pull from everything. Mm -hmm. whether it's Meisner or it's Bertowski or, or whatever it might be, mm -hmm. depending on the character, I guess. It's just you have to kind of figure out, like, what what's working, mm -hmm. what works for a particular character. Because, I mean, I've played everything from nuns to prostitutes. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> No vampires. <Yeah. laughs> what I have found really important is your backstory. Create your... Where did you grow up? Did you have siblings? Oh. Um, did you have... Was your mom working or not working? Was it a only mom and or only dad and mm -hmm. you know where did you grow up but making those choices there's very specific choices helps mm -hmm. develop your character so wow. that's so that's how it works it's almost like writing an entire book in you, you do beforehand. and you write it out write it out and you know there's a lot of choices to make you know mm -hmm. maybe chose well I just had brothers or no I think this character was his only child you know and the script will help you formulate that story that backstory that's the so character. Cool. And it's so funny because we fans always will see a character portrayed and then we start to create that backstory. Yeah. So I love it like um, when Beatrice wrote her book on Amanda, uh -huh. that she created that kind of backstory. She's like, I've been thinking about this. And I was like, is that what everybody does? They think about it over time. <laughs> That's so cool. I absolutely love that. So speaking of characters, I do have to ask, obviously, this is the Welcome to Wonderland blend. And I know you've probably been asked this, but let's just put it out there. If Alice were to return... Yes. For the new for a new movie. Yes. How would she return and why would it be with Nancy? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she was a studious person and she loved books. I think she may have become an attorney. Oh, she'd be great. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I think and Jacob is fine. Um, He's just fine, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it I'm would glad. be where she's defending the innocent kind of thing. You know, that's like mm -hmm. a public defender. Mm -hmm. And that's where I think. And I also think her end story, I think, 
it would be definitely about Jacob and perhaps she sacrifices her life for her son. So that would be very sweet. So that's, that's for, as far as I've gotten with it. <laughs> that's a very motherly thing to do to sacrifice motherly. yourself yeah. for your kid. All right. So we have a game called yes. Explain Yourself where we've gone through your Instagram. Yes. And we've narrowed it down to the magical three pictures. Oh boy. And I'm going to show them to you. And you have to give me the backstory of okay. this picture. Okay. All right. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, here we go. We've got this picture of her, very young and fresh, in front of a chair, and there's a bunch of stuff in the background. So can you tell us about this picture? <laughs> in Las Vegas, we had a friend, family friend, Uncle Ernie. He was a big gambler. So he, he did it for a living, actually. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so this was Caesar's Palace, and the hotels, if you're a big gambler, you, they'll spoil you rotten. And he would get these huge suites. I mean, literally like a stream in a bridge going over. I mean, you can In a suite? Yes, you cannot imagine these suites. So he would invite us to Vegas to hang out and whatever, and they, you know, we go see boxing matches and all kinds of things. The previous manager of Muhammad Ali, the greatest boxers in the world, mm -hmm. um, loved photography and he was a bit smitten with me. And Who wouldn't be? Look at her. <laughs> yeah, well, I was 16, though. Look at her. <laughs> and, so, and so he oh, yeah, 16. He asked my parents, oh. too. My parents were with me and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But um, if he could photograph me. so I love it. I love it. There's you a look, lot in there. You look like you could be a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. It is. I love I, That's such a great picture. <laughs> All right, picture number two. Okay. Right? Yes, I'm ready. Oh man, she's <laughs> older. What was it like wearing prosthetics? Oh, it's awful. It's awful. How long did this take? The old age makeup took about two and a half hours, I would say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they tried three different, three different ways to do it. Because mm -hmm. to do, but they eventually had to do full on prosthetics. Because there's like this stuff they put on that like crinkles your skin. Oh, when I yeah, was so young, they couldn't crinkle my skin. Uh, it wouldn't look any different. <laughs> so, so ultimately, uh, this is what we ended up with. Now, there was a time they considered that my mom be old Alice. Oh, interesting. Because we look so much alike. Mm. Um, but ultimately, they decided she was too young looking. <laughs> so, Good genes. So, yes, yeah. <laughs> so, indeed. I love this scene, though. The young Alice and the mm -hmm. old Alice, just the whole concept of it is so cool. Horrifying. Horrifying. We'll be doing this forever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ooh, man. Our worst nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and last but not least, out of the magic three. Aha. Yes. Yes. Well, okay. We have, we have, okay. It's so funny. This started streaming this year. It's called Barbie Rehab, spelled B A R B. E, e by the way. It's very fortuitous, actually, that the Barbie movie, Barbie movie came out I this summer, wondering. and this started streaming just uh, about two months ago. So anyway, a lot of fun. It's a complete, it's a parody. It's outrageous. It's just silly, goofy. So much fun filming. Um, Tom Sizemore is actually in it. Um, may he rest in peace. So much fun to work with, and also um, Bay Ling, too. So it's... It's really fun. And it's streaming on all kinds of platforms right now. From the previews, it looks extremely quirky. It's very quirky. Very fun. <laughs> like something that you could watch to cheer you up on a bad day. Absolutely. You're Alice in it. Is that the Barbie or is it the same character? I'm like a B Alice Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> and she's got the Alice Live shirt on. Yes. Which I've got the little pin. Yes, she has a pin. I love this tagline where Barbie addicts and addicted Barbies come to heal. That's cute. <laughs> I love Barbie. I grew up with Barbie. I played Barbie a lot growing up. I did too. I made like she was my star in all of my movies yes. and photography and yes. stuff like that. Yes, I was obsessed with the clothes <sighs> and the shoes. I mean, just obsessed, you know? <laughs> I mean, oh my gosh. Did you have a Barbie house? <gasps> I did. Or you had, I had the, air, the airplane, but it was huge. <gasps> you had a big airplane? But, but it, it folded. Like a suitcase, right? Oh, that was And then it the opened, best. and it was like three parts, but connected. It was so cool. 
It was so cool. I, I love those. <laughs> I had a big pink mansion. It was okay. the 90s. It was yes. pink and it had a blue roof uh, and an elevator in it. Oh, an elevator. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, yeah. Fancy. She was fancy yes. Barbie. <laughs> and I remember she had a tub and I would constantly put water in the tub. But then it would get kind of gunky and I was like, oh, after a while. I loved Barbie. I did too. And I loved the airplane. My mother was a stewardess. Back then, you couldn't be married as well, so she only got to fly for a year. Got married, had me and my sister very quickly. Um, but she did something like 15 hours a month going to hotels with her other, they were called Kiwis, her other stewardess friends who were no longer oh. flying and do presentations oh. at hotels. And by doing that, she got free tickets for the whole family. Oh, cool. And first class was $5. To upgrade. <laughs> what happened? What, so that was quite a benefit. Society have come a long <laughs> way and not a good way. <laughs> I know, I know, right? So we were very, yeah. I'm sure my first flight was on was first class, and of course back then you dressed up and mm-hmm. it, you know, completely different. Event. Now people go to the airport in their pajamas, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, <laughs> but it's fine if you do. I do but get comfy. Anyway. I can't help myself. No, I, I wear my But I look little, cute. I plan the outfits. You look cute. Okay. Pinterest outfits oh, for inspiration. Yes, yes. And then I, I pull those and I wear those. <laughs> it's judgment time. Judgment time. On our channel, we have a rating system of five flaming pumpkins, with five being the best and one being the least best. And before you ask, this is a very real rating system. Swear. How many flaming pumpkins out of five? Five. <laughs> no, of <laughs> course. No. Cheers. Five and a half. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love this. This is the perfect kind of flavor that I would want because I like flavored coffees. Mm-hmm. And but it's not heavily flavored. No. It's not and heavily it's not flavored. as strong because sometimes they clash with mm. the strength of the coffee. So this yeah. is a five. Solid five flaming pumpkins. You know you had to say five because I'm here. No, I my back. I say genuinely. One. Oh my! God. No, I no, wink. This is I wink. Coffee. <laughs> I mean it. Okay, I mean it. I'll pay you later. <laughs> okay. All right. Before you leave, just like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you can find Welcome to Wonderland on Dead Sled's website, and I'll link it in the description below for everybody who's ready to try it. And when you do, make sure to tag Lisa and give it five flaming pumpkins. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my cave of wonders and sitting down for a little coffee time, Lisa. This was awesome. So oh much God. fun. She's the best. I love her. <laughs> I'll pay you later. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we have this thing going on, right? Yeah. yeah Change. <laughs> <laughs> under the table. That's right. why we sit behind the table. Uh, that's right. Back and forth. You don't want to know what's happening under, under the no, table. You don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for watching, everybody. Stay spooky, my friends. <laughs>